I am low and I am anxious. Mood of a note. Hi, I guess low, I guess angstig. So my adventure with anxiety started at the age of five and I call it an adventure because it was a glorious one till thus far. When I was five years old, I had a crush on a beautiful girl whose name I can't remember, but she scarred me for life so much that I am still haunted by this experience today. As any gentleman would do, five-year-old Lo took flowers to this beautiful girl and a little note that says tick yes and tick no. Needless to say, she ticked neither and tore up the flowers and threw them back in my face. And thus I started a glorious adventure with rejection. I figured out that shrinking was hereditary. It's something I've been doing my entire life and because I'm so scared of rejection, I've said no so many times in my life when I should have said yes. I've sat down when I should have stood up and I kept quiet when I should have spoken out. And when deciding on what today's video should be about, I posted it on Instagram and asked you guys for a few shout outs, a few tips and a few ideas. And I think I got some valid responses. One or two people asked what it's like being a gay Afrikaans man, which I will tell you is very predictable. You can just hop onto any Facebook grinder or Tinder message and you'll see what everyone is like because it sucks. And then I also got a few people who asked about me and my dog, but because Loki can't sit still, I can't have him in the shot. And then I had one person who asked about my adventure with anxiety, and that is why I decided to share a little bit about myself. Because people always say, Lo, you are an actor, you own a theatre school, how can you be anxious? Well, actors are some of the most anxious people I know, they are some of the most insecure people I know. and. That is why today's video will be on how to be less of yourself. You see, people always tell us that we need to be more of ourselves. We just need to be ourselves in every situation. But the problem is that when anxiety and rejection is the only thing you've known your entire life, that feels natural. That is your comfort state. And when you are more of yourself, you actually tend to become more anxious. You tend to become more nervous and you become, tend to become more insecure. After my first rejection at five years old, I stepped into primary school and people saw that I was different. So different that I made an entire 10 minute video about my coming out story about being different. And so different that I was actually once thrown with a chair because he's gay. And uh, I survived, I did good dodging skills. And um, thus I learned to put on a little mask and soon I became very popular in school but the feeling of being insecure and being anxious never went away fully. Although I did very well in high school I was so anxious and so nervous and so scared of rejection that despite being second in my class with an average of above 90% in matric I didn't apply at a single university because I was so confident that someone was going to see me that I need not apply anywhere because the fear of rejection was so big that I didn't want to apply to a university. After school I received a scholarship for the New York Film Academy but due to various financial strains and various other situations I couldn't carry through with these plans and I started my own drama school to help pay for my studies locally. And although I had this brave front of not being anxious at all, I leaped into an adventure of self-discovery. And to this day, I have two aspects of my personality. One is the low who loves going out, loves to make new friends and loves to socialize. And the other part of myself is the low that can lock himself up in the house for 12 days on end without seeing anyone and without replying a single WhatsApp message. And I know that many of you watching this have been haunting me for replies and I promise that I will get to it before 2022. Because the journey of anxiety and self-discovery is not one that can be explained in a short YouTube video, but it hopefully proves to you that there are other people who you might perceive as very confident and who you might perceive as worthy of a follow or an interest, person of interest, that actually struggle with the exact same things that you are going through every single day. And I've just come to know in my 29 years of life 
that everyone is insecure about something. No matter how beautiful they are, no matter how ugly they are, but everyone is insecure about something. Whether it's something you can see on the outside or something that happened to them when they were five and someone rejected them that stayed with them throughout their days. And throughout this 29 year journey, I've searched for answers far and wide. And then very recently, I read a little line in a book of Oprah called The Things I Know For Sure. And here Oprah speaks about how well she did in school. And in the third grade, she got her results back and she did so extremely well in class that everyone made fun of her for being the smart girl and thinking that she's better than everyone else. And she proposes this concept that from the age of small children, we learn to shrink and we learn to dim our lights because we want to silence our critics and we learn to play small for them. You see, we empty ourselves so often when we are supposed to be filled with purpose, supposed to be filled with passion and supposed to step into our destiny. And we don't because we simply don't have the energy for it. And the reason we don't have the energy is because we were pouring ourselves into undeserving people who can't love us half the way as we should love ourselves. So when you need to become less of yourself, we need to be less insecure, less self-conscious, and we need to become so much less of who we are so that we can step into the purpose of the one who created us and the one who loves us fully as broken as we already are. When you become less of yourself, and more of the person who you are destined to be, you'll set yourself up for greatness. And that's when you can start walking into purpose.